Um, so my name is Rebecca Johnson and I'm an MFA student up at uh, the University of Victoria and this is our group show at Exchanges Gallery and uh, this is one of my pieces in the show here. Uh, what do I want to say about it? It, uh, it started out um, it, uh, the idea of making a book that would somehow uh, record that would talk that would talk a little bit about um, illuminated manuscripts because it's lit, of course, and also talk about something that's important enough in our current culture to be illuminated. And what I chose to illuminate was not only the idea of people's hands writing, handwriting, but also the idea of um, our family history. So all the names that are uh, all the names that are here are five generations of mine and my partner's family. I think that really does explain the whole, the idea behind the piece. I don't know that there's anything more uh, to say. Um, people seem interested in um, the pattern that the words make, and they want to turn the pages, which I, which is an interesting reaction to the work, and how the transparency allows us to see the individual names, but also the pattern that they make as one name layers on top of the other. And this was, this, that was part of the idea, too, was that there was a, a, a legacy or a heritage aspect to it that each of us is layered uh, on the people that come before and the people that come after, and that we make a linear continuum that, um, that, that's about who we are as people and where we are in our family and, and our legacy and our heritage. So that, I guess that was what dictated the materials, was that they're translucent so we can see through them, but they're not transparent there is an obscuring kind of element and that the farther that we get away from the source, the harder it is to see. So are there names of your family that uh, mean more to you than others? No, it was everybody that I could think of and in no particular order. There's no hierarchy and it doesn't break down by um, generation either. The generations are all mixed up. Um, part of your family knows all about this? And well, most of them. <laughs> what, they know, the people who know what, uh, what they think about the project, what, uh, when you explain to them what the project was about? Um... I guess the only people that, uh, of my family that have actually seen it have been the people that um, participated in it. Um, my mother wanted my mother spent a lot of time looking for her name and for the names of her children and the names that she had written out, um, which, I, which was a really kind of direct uh, um, a, a way of dealing with the work. And she didn't spend a lot of time on the idea of it uh, or of the um, obscuring or of the materials or of the light or of the manuscript or any of that kind of uh, uh, other stuff. Um, my son didn't spend too much time with it either. He just, um, he, he, want, he talked about the practicality of it a little bit. And, you know, I said to him that his handwriting was the hardest to replicate because he prints. And, and so that was kind of another direct, direct way of dealing with it. And uh, then my husband just spent a lot of time with the trans. He's also an artist, so he spent a lot of time with the transparency and the translucency. So I guess people... Um, come to terms with it in their own way and in their own sort of level of understanding with, with what it's about. So all, all the members of your family that are here, they wrote their names and sent it to you? No, or unfortunately them? I couldn't do that. So I had my mother, my son, my husband and my grandson write out the names that were particular to their generation. Mm -hmm. So it's five generations of four people's handwriting. But it has the illusion of being all different people, which is what's part of the idea. So, and the whole idea for the project, uh, how it came to you? Like? Well, the, one of the, one of the um, advantages to being in the MFA program is that we get our own studio to work at. So, in, and so you just spend a lot of time, or I spent time with the materials. I had a fluorescent light and I had some vellum paper in my studio. And when I laid the uh, vellum over the light, it reminded me of a book with the, with the light being the spine of the book and so then the whole idea just started to develop from there. Then you think, well, if it was a book what would I put in a book? What's important enough to write in a book? How would I construct the book? What materials would I use? And then so it's all, it all kind of developed from the initial sort of accidental 
act of putting the bell over the fluorescent lighting tube. Oh, pretty good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.